In this video, I'll be showing how to get all 11 of Spark's secret package number 4 in the Roblox Metaverse Champions event during week 4, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more guides on this event, and like the video. The week 4 quests are mostly easy, there are a few that take a long time, well, only really one takes a while to do, but most of them are pretty good. The first game on Spark's team is Teddy. At spawn, Sparks is gonna be right here, so you just gotta go over to the Sparks and then talk to her, so talk. Spark says, my mystery box is hidden on Paradise Island Chapter 7, and then that's it, I think that's all Spark says. Yep, so we need to go over to Chapter 7 and then find Spark's mystery box, which we can go over here, and then we need to unlock this area to go to the next chapter, it looks like. Wait, let's talk to her. Pool 5 shrubs before going to your friend's house. Okay, let's just fight the shrubs, and there's kind of a bit of delay, so I guess we just need to do whatever it says to do, and then keep doing that until we get to chapter 7. So I'm gonna speed this up, it's just gonna be me getting the shrubs, and then going on to the next area, then collecting whatever I have to collect there, then repeating that. Oh wait, it looks like we can also get pets. So let's go over here, buy the pet, or wait, no, those are gloves, not pets, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start speeding this up now. Here's chapter 2, and so we needed to get to chapter 7. This is definitely going to take a long time, so I'm just gonna continue speeding this up. It may take a bit over an hour or something. I don't know, but this is a very time-consuming quest. We finally made it to this island. This game has such a time-consuming quest. So anyways, we can go over here to Sparks and then step on this thing. Then Sparks is gonna say, you found my mystery box, congratulations. Are we gonna get the badge? There we go, we got the badge, that took such a long time. Second is incognito. When you spawn, go over to Sparks, she's gonna say help and then Sparks is gonna say my name is Sparks Kilwa. I crashed my spaceship in this mysterious place. Will you help me find the missing pieces? Complete the four tasks and I will give you a prize. So we need to do all four of these. Power core, blinker fluid, spaceship gear. The items are hidden around the different maps. Keep an eye out while playing to find them. If you get on this map where you spawn in like a parking lot, then you can go forwards and then there's gonna be a forest area and then that is the power core, so once you touch it, you're going to get one out of one for this, and you just need to walk up to it, touch it, and then I think there are multiple in all of the maps. If you go around to the back of the map, past this truck inside of the greenhouse, there is this, which is blinker fluid. If you get on this map where it's like a bank or a museum or something, I don't know, but there are statues at this one, then the blinker fluid is going to be right in this room, very close to the spawn. Then if you keep going towards the checkpoint A, and then go forward after that, you're going to see this, which is not the spaceship gear, so I don't need it, but just if you get this map, then go over here and get this one. On the grocery store map, in the back, there is going to be the spaceship gear, so let's just get it. And there we go, four out of four tasks completed. So the spawn is like right over here, and if you go to the back of the store, 
then turn right is gonna be here. The only thing you need to do after that is win a game, and since this takes around two to three rounds to do, you're probably going to win, since there are two teams if you're in a public server, or no matter like what server you're in, it's basically a 50-50 chance. But we got all four, we can press this and then claim, then we get the badge. Third is Superpower Fighting Simulator, follow the arrow, and we need to talk to Sparks to get some quests. I think Sparks has five quests, so we just need to do all of those. So let's talk to Sparks, click here to talk, and Sparks is gonna say, Hey there, I'm a Sparks, the metaverse, something. Uh, I'm just gonna keep clicking. Okay, so then if we go over here to quests, we're gonna see Sparks wants us to train endurance, strength, and a psychic. So how you do that is if you've ever played any games like anime fighting a simulator i think there's also a game called super power fighting a simulator or also super power training a simulator like if you've played any of those games you already know how to play this it's basically just there are like four different categories you can train in and at this one there's a hundred strength required two times strength boost but we only need to get 25 for this first quest so there we go and then let's equip the other thing. This is push-ups and it will train endurance. And we need to get 25 of that. And then the third one is psychic, so we'll train that. I'm just gonna speed this up. Go over to the places where it says strength boost, like this rock over there. If you need to train more strength, and then just equip whichever you need to train. So this is pretty simple, but it may take a bit of time. There we go, it took a little bit of time. One of the things you have to do is go over to upgrade and you have to press the shop button right here, then you can buy the ancient items because Sparks is going to give you a quest to buy five ancient items. But then once you equip it, like it gives you a boost and I got a legendary one, so my boost was pretty good. But now we did that so we can talk to Sparks again and then Sparks is going to say, here's my secret package. And then you are going to get the badge. Quest completed. Yeah, there's the badge. Fourth is Super Striker League. Go to this thing in the middle, and then you're going to be able to join a round. And we just need to win one public round to get the crate. So go here, press play now. Then it is going to teleport you somewhere. And this is where you can fight people. So in this server, there are four minutes left. You could join randomly until you get in a server where it is almost done and your team is winning. But this is soccer, so just go around, try to get the soccer ball. Don't let the other team get it. You can see the controls in the bottom left. Finally, I got it. Fifth is the day the noobs took over Roblox 2. Whenever you get on this screen, just press OK to spawn in. And then it says to start your journey, enter the green door labeled Chapter 1. But we're not going to do that because we're going to do the quest. So it has a line going there. 
we're not doing that. We're gonna go over to Sparks. So yeah, whenever you spawn, go to Sparks right here. Sparks says, want to earn my fourth prize? Enter this door and beat the obby. So let's go inside of here, and so I guess it's an obstacle course. Well, it isn't exactly an obstacle course, so I'll just skip the cutscene here, and it says figure out why the egg rain hasn't started. So you need to go over to this group of people, and then it's going to automatically do a cutscene. So he's basically saying that I am hired as an intern to fix the egg machine, and then we have to go over to this orange portal on the bottom of the egg machine, and then hold E to start the puzzle. And you can just choose randomly because it won't really matter if you get them wrong, it will just ask the question again. So choose the ones that I got correct, correct but there are like maybe 5 to 10 different questions and maybe 5 to 10 different eggs. So some of them are very easy, but then I kind of went back off of the elevator, but it's going to keep going up and down so we can just go back up again. And we have to melt the ice, so press E to melt the ice, go through this maze. I'm not sure if it's going to be different for you guys or if it's going to be the same for us, but like, just melt what I melted, and then we have this obstacle course, avoid the blue. The blue is going to make you die, so don't touch any of the blue stuff. Then in this room, activate the egg by pressing E while you're near, or hold E, and then jump up these things on the wall, and then go off of the wall. Then there is this red portal, so hold E to pull that lever and an egg is gonna come out, and it's an angry egg. So you need to just, like, try not to get hit by him. I'm not sure what happens if you die, because I didn't die from him, but get the egg from one side of it, and then bring it to that pink thing, and then go back to the other side where there's that truss after you get the first egg, because we're getting the second egg now, and then collect it. Now we have to go through a forest, avoid the zombies, and then put it in the pink thing again. Now you want to go back over to this. I just did a bug report. The bug was banana. I don't know if it was a good idea to do a bug report for that. But I'm going to put the next egg in there. So just keep going back and forth. Get the egg. And now this is the final egg. And then you just need to go over to the other side again. Keep putting the eggs in that pink storage thing. Now go through the portal in the middle of the map. And you have to do an obstacle course. So this is not too hard at all. Just jump on the things, keep going forward on this one, try to avoid the Faberge eggs. Then the egg thing is going to open up, and he's gonna say, intern, you're here, and then you get fired from being the intern, because they say it takes like four months, and the contract said that I had to fix the machine in a week. So then after this, then I'm gonna give the egg to someone, and then I think that's the person telling the story, because they have Sparks Crate and the egg, so then they're saying they're giving me the crate. There we go, I got the crate. Sixth is find the square. You can only get it in the find the square round that has the colors and not the numbers. Or the Simon Says round because that one also has colors. But you just have to wait until that round happens. So right now it's happening. Simon Says, you just have to go over to the colors. And Simon Says is a little harder because sometimes it says Simon Says go to this color. And then sometimes it just doesn't say that and then like those disappear so you just need to go over to what it says and it says go to yellow but since this is simon says that is not a good idea because it didn't say simon says go to yellow there we go i survived until around 25 seventh is burger bay whenever you join you can pick a color i'm gonna choose green because green is pog but then press play and then you can select the house. I'm just gonna spawn mine right there. And then there is going to be a metaverse button right here. So it says complete all of these tasks to receive Sparks chest. So take customers orders as a cashier, deliver orders as a delivery driver, bring supply crates to the restaurant as a supplier, fulfill customer orders as a cook, serve customers their orders as a server. So this is kind of like work at a pizza place. And you just need to do all of the quests as all of the roles that it says right there. But first is cashier, so I selected the cashier job, and I'm just going to claim my daily reward. So we need to go over to one of these things, press claim, and then greeting, order whenever you're ready. What sounds good? Uh, this is like advanced work at a pizza place. Okay, drinks, blue, fries, yes, burgers, plain. Okay, so you have to do three things. I'm gonna speed this up, it's just gonna be me fulfilling their orders.
Now we have to deliver orders as a delivery driver, so press the work button here and then go to work. By the way, you can end your shift by pressing the red dot at the top in the middle of the screen, but we're going to go over to delivery driver, press select, and then we can get some delivery stuff. So press E to claim the bag, then you want to go over to the delivery cars. I'm going to get in this one, and there's going to be an arrow on the bottom of your screen pointing to where you need to go. So there's a bridge right here. The cars turn like really fast. Wow, okay. So we need to turn left here it looks like and just follow the arrow. And there is where we need to deliver it to. So we can just keep going this way. I'm going to speed it up just to get delivery things. Go over to the locations and then drop off the pizza. Or I forgot what we were cooking. Burgers. Yeah, that's what we're cooking. There we go, that took quite a bit of time, but next is bring supply crates to the restaurant as a supplier, so let's end the shift, and then go to work, then we need to be the supplier, so cashier, server, delivery, cook, supplier, this is the one we want to do, and then we need to go over to the truck, then there are arrows pointing into this area that we need to go to, so we gotta be on this middle part right here. Then it is going to bring that thing above us, and I think it is... Okay, there we go, we got it. Now we need to get out of it, and then press these buttons, I guess? So then crates are gonna go in the truck, let's just keep pressing them. And then it says unload truck, or wait, no. It is instantly loading the crates in, so now we just need to get in the truck and then unload the truck a thousand studs away so that is a little far but hopefully the truck is kind of fast so let's just go this way and then it says over here bring supply crates to the restaurant as a supplier i think we're bringing eight at once so that is only going to be two trips which is pretty fast Actually, we only need to do one trip and then it's going to count as 16 crates. I swear that was only 8, but I guess maybe the truck had some hidden somewhere. So it might say 8 if it does just do that again, but for me I only had to go there once. Now we have to fulfill customer orders as a cook. So end the shift, collect the cash, and then work, go to work, and then server and no, all we want to do a cook so there we go it's loading what you need to do here is make what it says under the drinks area burgers area or fries area fries is probably the easiest because well there's only one type of fries so you can do this kind of fast and then drinks there is the drink area bring it from the yellow area to the green area like i just did and then more fries and we're already at four out of ten this one is really fast and then you might need to cook the stuff a little bit, like take out the buns, put the hamburger, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, wait, where are we, wait, why am I trying to put another hamburger, though we want to put another bun? There we go, deluxe burger, then we can take that and put it right there. Then, yeah, that one takes the longest, because for the other ones, you can just bring it right to where it says. And then we can use cups, put the cup there, and it's green flavored, press the green button. And then take the lid and straw, put it over here, right there, and 6 out of 10. So no one wants more fries still, but we need to make some more green drinks. 
So let's put that there, and then make this one too. Or wait, no, we gotta press the button. Now we're on to the final thing, which is serve customers their orders as a server. So this seems the fastest. Let's close that, then end the job, go back to work, and then now we're going to do this one. So I'll select, and then it's going to load. Now we can take the stuff, press E to take the tray, and then it's going to show you who you need to bring it over to. So this is kind of like the delivery one, but way faster. So you just need to go back and forth, bring the customers their stuff. There we go, we finished all of the quests and got the badge. Eighth is destined to fail. When you're in bed, it's gonna have a cutscene where it like goes to the alarm and you have to click it a whole bunch. Then it's gonna start moving around and just keep clicking it. Then it's gonna move really fast. So still keep trying to click it. Eventually it's gonna hit the portrait thing. Then it's gonna fall down. So we have a closet with some clothes and we gotta follow the arrows. So we're making a hot sauce cereal. We gotta put the cereal in, the milk and the hot sauce, then in the oven. Okay, so now everything is going on fire. That is not a good thing. So we have a fire extinguisher. It doesn't really work. So don't put out the fire. Wait until you hear some doorbells ringing and then go over to your door, which is... No, I just went the wrong way. Okay, it's this way. So go back where the arrows were and then like go past one. Just go to this front door, go where I went and then click it. Then someone is saying your taxes are overdue, so you need to go where I go, click the printer thing, and then your taxes are going to come out, and this is where you're going to commit tax fraud. So you got to escape through the window, and then you just run out, and you get the badge. So that was actually very easy. Ninth is Bloxy Bingo. If we go over here, Sparks is going to be to the right through this door, and we press E to talk to Sparks. Then Sparks says, collect a special Metaverse Champions card from this page. Sit back, chill, and enjoy some rounds of Bloxy Bingo while your Metaverse card fills up. Once the Metaverse card is complete, come back here to pick up Sparks Mystery Box for week 4. So press collect card, and then it says 16 to go. So it's going to be automatically marked through rounds. You don't have to do anything, just wait for everything to fill up, and then you can go back to Sparks and get the crate. Been here for around 30 minutes and it still hasn't called 42 yet so i recommend just going afk here until you get all of the things on your card but once you do you can just talk to sparks again and then you're going to get the crate 10th is bloxymon so sparks is this way go past the spawn past the fountain into this forest then sparks is going to be right here so we can press talk Sparks says, hi there, friend. I just came here to, I don't know how to say that, for a short vacation. I've been all over this place lately, so this seemed like a nice spot to relax. And then the people here are so nice. And then, yeah, and then Sparks says, would you like to go on this journey with me? Okay, but give me the crate. Yeah, Sparks said, we'll get a reward if we do. Sparks says we need to collect five capture devices. So let's just go over to this thing right here, and then we're gonna be in a battle. Uh-oh, it has a bit of health, like, compared to mine. So just click it, and then I'm gonna try to catch it. Uh-oh, I'm losing a lot of health. Yeah, that is not good. I'm gonna try catching it. Let's go. Hopefully it is... I'm catching it right now. Hopefully it stays in there. Uh-oh. Yay, there we go. We captured it. So, now, uh, I just need the collect of that, and I have two things that can fight things, so let's just go over to the menu right there, equip this thing, and wait, you can only have one out at once, uh, if we talk to Sparks, wait, collect five capture devices, just from defeating that one Bloxy one, we got five capture devices, okay, so, now, I guess we need to, like, 
capture it, and then once you capture it, it gives you capture devices. I'm not too sure how it works, but after capturing one, then I got five, so yeah. Then Sparks is gonna say, yay, you did it. Okay, next, we need to catch a Bloxymon. I just did that, but in order to make it easy, I've heard there's something called a catch berry. I think I saw a shop in the village. So yeah, we need to go over to this shop right here, and then Sparks is gonna give me some money to buy it. And it looks like we just need to... Oh no, huge lag spike. For some reason, Bloxymon has like insanely huge lag spikes. Oh yeah, I think we got that for leveling up. Like whenever we leveled up, we got some capture devices and that's why we got the quest thing. So yeah, we gotta go over here to the shop and I can jump over that. Yep, we're in the village. And if I open the store, we need to get the berry thing. So there's grapes. Nope, don't want that. Catch fruit. Yeah, that's what we want. So buy. Did I get one? Okay, I think I got one. Yeah, now we have two. So we need to go. Oh, and I just needed to get two. So yeah, get two of those. Then we can go back over to Sparks. And then Sparks is going to say, thank you so much. Cat catching a Bloxymon will be super easy now. Well, I don't know how, and would you mind showing me? Yeah, okay, so I guess we have to go over to the Bloxy one and just capture it. I don't want this one. This dog looks super weird. I don't know. I'm gonna go get another one. Yeah, now we can try fighting this one, and it is a little less strong than mine is, so that seems fine. We just need to attack it, and then feed him the thing. Uh-oh, it used the thing. Swipe the bubbles, uh, oh, okay, yeah, we just need to hit these, and then it's gonna do some weird mudslide thing, and that's probably gonna be good and do a lot of damage. So, oh, wow, that's a lot of damage that we did to that. So, feed it the fancy fruit thing, then we can try catching it, and it has pretty low health, and we fed it the fruit, so if it doesn't stay in, it's a scammer. Okay, there we go. It looks like I captured it. Yep, we did. So, now it's going to go through this screen again. Then we can go back to Sparks and then talk. So, Sparks said she caught one. And, uh-oh, Sparks wants to fight me. That doesn't sound good. I'm probably gonna die. I finally evolved this thing and it took like 50 candy and a thousand gold or 2,000 gold or something. So it took kind of a long time to farm to get that much. You just have to do the quests it says on the side here. And then if you go over to codes, you can use the codes berry and easter. So that's going to give you a little bit of stuff. Make sure you use those. But you just need to farm enough until your pet is strong enough to beat Spark's pet. So I'm going to complete these quests over here. I did a few quests, spent some Robux, and now I upgraded this. And you're going to have to farm a lot to get enough candy to upgrade your stuff. So this is kind of like a very grindy game, and you're gonna have to farm a lot to be able to actually fight Sparks. So now I have enough to finally fight this, we have the same exact BP. So I just have to spam a click, hopefully I can do enough damage and it doesn't damage me that much, and then I have to use the break thing. So there we go, now we can use this. Bruh, it literally got me so low. How does it have so much more damage than I do? Maybe I'll have to capture another thing and then upgrade that. Then maybe I'll finally be able to do enough damage to defeat this. Oh no, I lost, bro. It was literally one shot. Maybe if I click faster, I can do that. I legit just caught something that has 192 BP. So if I don't win against Sparks, then this is literally rigged. So we gotta go over to Sparks. Talk. Okay, let's fight. And 192 versus 132, it's literally the exact same thing, so I should be guaranteed to win. Because again, exact same thing, and then I have to use Stomp, so swipe the bubbles, and we just need to swipe across those. Then there we go, we did a bit of damage. Yeah, that was good, we're definitely going to win. So we just need to use Stomp again. And then we got this, so just capture stuff, upgrade it, capture this thing that has 192 BP, because like when I rejoined it was still there, so I think it always spawns in that same location in the forest, so just walk around the forest until you find one, and then you can finally be a Sparks by doing that. 
now we can talk to Sparks, and then Sparks is gonna give you the badge. Did we finally get the badge? Yes, we did, okay. And the 11th game, which is the final one, is Travel to Unicorn Island Obby. You just need to do the obstacle course. If you normally do it, like, around the checkpoints, some checkpoints are gonna have a crystal. Once you get all seven, you just need to go to the end of the obby. So it's kind of like the other unicorn obby one where you just have to beat the obby. But this time you gotta make sure you collect all seven crystals on your way to the end. I'm gonna speed this up. It's just gonna be me doing the obstacle course and getting the crystals at some of the checkpoints. But the crystals are on the ground. All you need to do is touch them to collect them. There we go, we got the final crystal, and it went in that area over there, and then it's gonna say we got it quickly run down the slide, so we just need to go down here, and then, does it make us sit? Okay, good, it does, so we can go down the slide really fast, and then now we just need to go over here to the sparks chest, and wait, no, we gotta talk to this guy, it looks like, because I can press E to talk to him, but wait, it's not letting me talk to him, okay. Well, let's just go over to the Sparks chest, because it's right here, and then just flip the switch. So we gotta flip this light switch thing, press E to activate, and then it is going to make the chest come out, so you just need to press E to get the chest. Then you're going to get the badge, but that's how to get all of Sparks crates in week 4 So make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more guides on this event like the video Join my discord server linked in the description follow my twitter at Talanthric use star code Talanthric to support my channel And linked in the description is a playlist called Roblox Metaverse Champions Guide It has all my other videos on this event on it So if you want to see how to get all of the other crates then check that out But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video